My name is Shaquana. I'm 19 years old, and I got into life when I was 14. My name is Sheila. I'm 22 now. Um, I was in the game when I was 15. My name is Cynthia. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I got into life when I was uh, 17. The life. These young women don't call it child prostitution because at the time, they weren't old enough to consent to sex, much less selling it. I didn't choose this life for me. Like I didn't choose to um, go and be sexually exploited. I got kidnapped into it. Well, I know exactly how that feels because at like one point in time, I just wished I, I wasn't here anymore. He's watching me like a whore. And every time I go one place and he sees me make money, he takes my money from me. If I didn't make that money, I was still out there. This is somebody's little sister, this is somebody's daughter, this is somebody's, you know, child that this is yeah. happening to, and really nobody knows but her, and she's and keeping this inside so of her. So it happens a lot, like more than like, like what you think about. It. How does something like this happen in New York, in New York City? I think because you've got a bunch of vulnerable young people that we're not doing a good job of protecting. Rachel Lloyd has taken it upon yeah, herself to do that protecting. Every young person, just by nature of being a teenager, wants to feel accepted and belong. She started GEMS. It's an organization that helps girls who were victims of sex trafficking, like she was, transition back to a so-called normal life in New York City. People, when they think about sex trafficking of girls, they think about it happening in Thailand or the Ukraine. And yet it's happening on 42nd Street. It's happening in just about every neighborhood that you could name. It's American children who are being sold on our streets. Sometimes a few blocks away from where we live or where we work is really critical for people to understand. Even in the middle of the bustle of New York City streets, girls like these tell me they worked right around here, right near Times Square, for their pimps instead of going to school. They know you're young, they know like it's easy to confuse you and say, you know, things that would scare you, so they take advantage, they use that to their to their benefit. And even when you get arrested, they know that you're not like twenty five, like I'm fifteen, like you could tell that I'm fifteen, like even as pre teens, these girls are arrested, they are jailed, they are treated not as victims, but as criminals. In ten years, fifteen years we will be looking back saying, really? We used to arrest girls who were trafficking victims? Like, what? I, I would hope that that's the place that we get to, right? That it seems ludicrous. Like, you don't arrest domestic violence victims. You don't arrest rape victims, right? You don't arrest victims. And now they don't in New York. Because of Rachel's work, the Safe Harbor Act is now on the books. So instead of getting locked up, these girls go to GEMS to get housing and help while on their road to recovery. Are you still tempted sometimes? Do you think the recovery process is ever over? You just don't know when, oh, I'm recovered. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And I really believe in that because if it wasn't for the things that has happened to me and all of the bad stuff, the real bad stuff that I went through, then I wouldn't be the voice for, for so many other young girls who aren't ready to speak out. You're strong, you just have to find it within yourself. And once you get up there, nobody's not going to take you down again.